red hat, sir. Is that the Trump hat? <laughs> I just left the land of Trump. Oh, okay, we're off and 
on him again. Okay. Okay. Los Angeles is awfully friendly. I like how you can just shoot the shit with anybody. Have a nice conversation. It's beautiful out here, sir. I'm gonna go check out the Kardashians. I wanna like rent a car and drive to their house. See how they live out here, you know? Like the Kardashians, sir? Well, I like the Kardashians. I didn't like them at first, but they grew on me after a while. Who's your favorite Kardashian? I've always been a fan of Courtney. I think she's a natural beauty. Chloe's a beast. Probably has a different father. I was watching Kim uh, on the 10th anniversary. I think that was on last night or the night before. And she is like totally fucked up her face. Her lips are way too puffy and big. She looks a lot older than what, what she really is. I think she's only like 35, 36 years old. She looks like she's in her 40s. Fan of Caitlyn or That's... Oh, you're turning up the music. Oh, okay then. Bruce better, but, uh, you know, Caitlin's starting to grow on me as well. Yeah, no doubt, sir. I'm with you on that. Totally with you on that. You know, Bruce was an American hero, won all those uh, medals in the decathlon back in the day, and he was on the, the, the Wheaties box. Yeah, remember those days? Imagine telling people that are no longer with us that that guy in the Wheaties box would someday be Caitlyn Jenner. I know, it just seems crazy, doesn't it? Just completely insane what's acceptable these days. Yeah, what are you going to do? As long as there's love in your heart, right, sir? Absolutely. Couldn't agree more with that. my Trump hat. Well, I'm not a big fan of Trump. I gotta be... What? You're not a fan of Trump? Why is that? I, uh, uh, I had him on my radio show back in the day. And a uh, very, very entertaining fella. Knows, knows how to carry a room, but... You know, when we would hang up on him, we would pretty much laugh at him, not with him. Is that right? Well, I think he's doing a great job for the country right now. And I feel like the NFL players should all be standing for the anthem. anthem. What do you think about that? Well, that's a tough, uh, that's a tough issue. It really is a tough issue. I mean... I personally stand for the National Anthem because of the military, because I'm not brave enough to do what they do. Oh, well, you're absolutely right on that point, young man. But then again, you know, Trump uh, pushed him into a corner and they felt like they had to do something. But I think, uh, I think it, it's insulted a lot of people and it's really torn this country in two.
think is going to happen with North Korea. That's starting to get really scary. And I don't like being here in Los Angeles with all that uh, nonsense going on. Well, I, I think it's all just talk right now. You got, you got two egomaniacs that are just talking shit back and forth to each other, coming up with nicknames. But when it comes right down to it, I don't think anything's going to happen in that situation. I think you'll be just fine here in Los Angeles. Well, that's a relief. That certainly is a relief, sir. I see you took your uh, Trump hat off. Well, I was getting a little hot. A little hot. I want to cool my head off just a little bit. All right, well... It's good talking to you. I'm gonna check out the scenery a little bit. Ooh. White knuckling it. Looks like we're getting close, huh? Yep. Oh, oh, oh my. Is that the Bundy Drive? Like the OJ Bundy Drive? I would imagine it is, huh? The OJ's getting out of jail soon. I don't think that's right. Especially what he did to those two young people back in the day. I understand he was acquitted of that crime, but they finally had him right where we needed him to be. And now they're letting him out again. That wouldn't happen in Trump's America, I'll tell you that much. I don't know about that, sir. Trump is president. So it's kind of happening on his watch. I should have rented a car. But what are you going to do, right? I see we're passing Cloverfield. Did you see the movie? Yeah, I sure did. I thought the movie uh, was just okay. I don't think it was smart for them to have that shaky camera throughout the whole thing. I know a lot of people got kind of like, uh, you know, like seasick. Kind of like I'm getting sick in this car right now. I think if they would have stabilized the camera a little bit, I think uh, the movie would have done even better. You know, my friend T.J. Miller, he was the cameraman in that movie. A little, uh, little trivia for you. Is that right? He's a very talented Person. Whoa, okay. All right, we're flying again. Okay. We're going 90. Well, folks, I'm going to turn this off. This was a complete and utter waste of time. I think we're getting off here anyway. All right, bye-bye, guys. Welcome to Los Angeles.